Hello, I'm Vasiliki Bravis and I'm a consultant in diabetes with Imperial College Healthcare. Apologies for any noise that you may hear. We're in a working hospital with some works going on. Type 2 diabetes is a condition of increased sugar in the bloodstream. How does it develop? Under normal circumstances, when we eat and food lands in the gut, it gets absorbed and it gets converted into sugar, glucose. That circulates in our bloodstream and uh, signals to the pancreas to secrete a hormone that is called insulin. We need insulin in order to open the gates in many different tissues like fat tissue, liver tissue or muscles in the body in order for sugar that is circulating in the bloodstream to enter those cells and be stored. In people that develop type 2 diabetes or that are at risk of developing type 2 diabetes, uh, they need far more insulin molecules, many more keys to open those gates in the tissues for sugar to enter. As a result, the pancreas uh, ends up overworking and it frequently cannot keep up with the demand of the body uh, for insulin in order to store sugar. We then see that sugar levels uh, in the bloodstream start rising and people can present with symptoms or be diagnosed as a coincidence of a blood test with their primary care physicians. People that develop type 2 diabetes can complain of a multitude of symptoms. Most frequently, they might present complaining of passing too much urine or feeling increasingly thirsty, sometimes feeling increasingly hungry and invariably so feeling very tired. The reason people pass a lot of urine when they develop type 2 diabetes is that the kidneys are a major organ that allows the body to get rid of excess sugar that may be circulating in the bloodstream. Sugar leaves the body in fluids that is known as urine. And when we lose urine, we lose water. That is the reason why people also tend to complain of feeling very thirsty. From the point of view of what an individual can do for themselves uh, to prevent type 2 diabetes, or help the management of their type 2 diabetes if they develop it, we know that the most evidence uh, in the literature and in the clinical practice is for lifestyle changes. What does that mean? That means that people need to start looking after uh, diet and activity levels a bit more closely. In terms of diet, we always advocate for a balanced food intake and certainly following measures that are sustainable and easy to follow for an individual in the long term. We need to try and limit our intake of sugar, of fat and carbohydrate, but not completely avoid it. Even more importantly, in the context of pre-diabetes or type 2 diabetes, we advise people to exercise for two and a half hours in the course of the week that can be split between daily activity or a few days in the course of the week. Brisk walking, climbing stairs, and doing strenuous exercise, for example, during housework or uh, gardening, are all exceptionally good. You always know that you're doing a good exercise to contribute to the management of your blood glucose levels. When your heart rate increases, and when you feel out of breath while exercising. Thank you for watching this video and I hope it has been helpful.